And this is what L. Paul Bremer did in 2003. He basically privatized the entire government and got the Ba'ath Party, the Socialist Party, which had been subsidizing food, subsidizing oil, paying, you know, a large sector of the, you know, controlling a large sector of the economy and paying people's paychecks and maintaining peace and stability for decades, got them out of the way so that a, quote, free market could emerge. And remember when the looting began in the museums? And our, our, our Secretary of Defense, Don Rumsfeld, came out and said, oh, you know, freedom's messy. Give them a little time. They'll, they'll organize. Free markets will now emerge. Uh, and Paul Wolfowitz, I mean, you know, when Paul Wolfowitz was with the IMF, uh, back when Argentina was going down in flames, they said, as you know, the country's slipping into recession, you've got to cut federal spending which is the exact opposite thing to do when you're going into recession. But you know, Argentina did it, and they fell into a depression. They ended up saying, screw you to the IMF in 2000, 2001. I was down there, in fact, when it happened. And it, you know, it was a disaster. But it's uh, Chile with Pinochet, or Russia uh, under Boris Yeltsin, the, uh, arguably China. But Naomi Klein in her book, Shock Doctrine, also talks about this experiment that was going to be conducted in Iraq. Now, first of all, Iraq was run by the Ba'athist, the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party, the Ba'ath, the Ba'ath Party. It was founded by uh, Michael Affleck, Salah al-Din al-Bitar, and associates of Zaki al-Arsuzi. This was way, way back, you know, back in the 40s. It was a socialist party. It was not a secular party. It was not a religious party. The Ba'athist party in, in uh, Syria is run by Assad, who is a, uh, an Alawite, which is kind of aligned with the Sunnis, or the Shia, excuse me. The Ba'athist party in Iraq was run by Saddam Hussein, who was a Sunni. And basically, what, the, the motto of the Ba'athist party is unity, liberty, socialism. So, for example, in The Economist, back April 16, 2009, from the print edition, there's an article uh, un unsigned. It's, printed, it's run as a news story, not an op-ed piece. The title is, It's the Economy, Stupid. It's in the Business in Iraq section. And they talk about how, this is 2009, how... Uh, April of 2009, Obama has just been, you know, three, he's three months into his presidency, how we're trying to turn Iraq's 30.7 million citizens into customers. And they say, the country's experiment with private enterprise is untested. Under Saddam Hussein's dictatorship, the state controlled everything from interest rates to jobs at the bloated state-owned enterprises. See, this is how Republicans would describe America today. Right? The state, the Fed, is controlling interest rates, and you've got 20% of the economy as government government sector. America, and back to, the new, back to the economist, America began paving the way for a free market in Iran as soon as Baghdad fell in 2003. Temporary American government abolished tariffs, freed interest rates, cut taxes, that was corporate taxes, and stitched together a patchwork of market-friendly bankruptcy and other rules. It also in effect shut down Iraq's state-owned enterprises by restricting their access to cash and cutting their employees' pay by 60%. They don't add is that one of the biggest of the of the state-run enterprises was the army, and you had to be a member of the Ba'athist Party to be in the army. This was five hundred thousand people who were drawing paychecks. L. Paul Bremer came over and he issued a series of orders, the famous Bremer orders. Order number thirty-seven: drop the corporate tax to Iraq from forty percent down to a flat fifteen percent. Order number thirty-nine: allowed foreign companies to own a hundred percent of a business in Iraq. Iraq is open for business, right? No borders anymore. No tariffs. In fact, order number 12, suspended, amended by order 54, suspended all tariffs. So Iraq had no protection against foreign competition. And cheap Chinese goods or American-made goods could flood in, uh, and the, the government of Iraq made no money on those uh, imports. So this was an experiment. This was an economic experiment. We can't do this in the United States. We can't get rid of that 20% government sector. We can't do away with Social Security and unemployment benefits 
and and Medicare and Medicaid and and uh, you know government employees and free state run schools. We can't do that in America. The Americans won't let us. So let's do it in Iraq. And this is what L. Paul Bremer did in 2003. He basically privatized the entire government and got the Ba'ath Party, the Socialist Party, which had been subsidizing food, subsidizing oil, paying you know a large sector of the you know controlling a large sector of the economy and paying people's paychecks and maintaining peace and stability for decades, got them out of the way so that a quote free market could emerge. And remember when the looting began in the museums? And our, our, our Secretary of Defense, Don Rumsfeld, came out and said, Oh, you know, freedom's messy. Give them a little time. They'll, they'll organize. Free markets will now emerge. Paul Bremer's going to make that happen. Right. Iraq was supposed to be the first country in the world where libertarian ideas could be tried and would actually work. They tried them in Chile. They didn't work. Pinochet turned it into a repressive, horrific uh, disaster. They tried them in Russia after the fall of the Soviet Union early on with Yeltsin. And it didn't work. Instead, what happened is you had the rise of oligarchs. And an oligonomy became an oligarchy you know, to a certain extent. They tried it in China, but the Communist Party never let go. So they said, let's, you know, we can't do it in America, even though the Libertarian Party, America is pretty much the only country in the world that actually has a Libertarian Party. But it's never been tried anywhere successfully. Let's try it in Iraq. This was what Paul Bremer was sent to do. We tried it, and the consequence was an absolute, unmitigated, screaming, flaming disaster. We need to bring back the Bath Party. A party unaffiliated with any religion that is committed to Arab nationalism and socialism. Bring back the Ba'ath Party and you can put an end to the Iraq conflict. This is the Tom Hartman Program. But I don't hear anybody talking about that. And I don't know why. Except that they're socialists. You know, you don't talk about that in America. I guess that's the most beautiful reason. 